In this video, we'll be continuing our series of setting up Trimble Access on a new Trimble TSC5 data collector. Uh, the purpose of this video is to create a survey style for connecting up to SmartNet in Arizona. So uh, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and open up the Trimble Access software. We'll give that just a second to open up. And I'm going to go ahead and select the three little menu lines in the upper left-hand corner of the display. I'm just going to tap that with my finger. And in the flyout menu, I'm going to go ahead and select Settings. And I'm going to select Survey Styles. I've created a few survey styles here already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an RTK Rover survey style for SmartNet in Arizona. So uh, to begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight where it says RTK here. And I'm going to go ahead and select New down at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to give my survey style a name. So I like to have my caps lock on. So on this TSC5, I'm going to hit the little yellow function key in the lower left-hand corner of the keypad and the caps lock, which is shared with the letter Z. And let's go ahead and we're going to say RTK space Rover SmartNet AZ. And uh, it's a GNSS survey style, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and accept. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into my rover options. Now it's my intention when I do this to use a Verizon hotspot. I've already set up that connection. I've also set up a GNSS contact for SmartNet in Arizona. So that's going to make my life a little easier in this. Uh, so where it says rover options, I'm just going to go ahead and select edit. And my survey style, I'm going to leave that at RTK. But for my broadcast format for SmartNet, I'm going to go ahead and change that to RTCM RTK. So I'm going to go ahead and select that from the top of the drop down list. And I'm going to be using this with an R12, a conventional R12 receiver. You may be using a different receiver type. So I'm just going to go ahead and select R12 internal. And I do like to measure to the bottom of the quick release. Uh, I am going to put in a default antenna height for myself of 2 meters. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in 2M. Um, I haven't uh, associated this with any units yet. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the serial number of that receiver. I think most of these other settings are okay. I'm going to go ahead and select Baydow and add that to the list. QZSS is not available in this country, but Baydow may be with, uh, uh, with SmartNet. And I'm just kind of looking through. Uh, this is a matter of personal preference, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck for myself XFIL and the tilt functions on this uh, R12. Uh, some people like that, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. But I'm going to go ahead and accept that. So that takes care of my rover options. I'm going to go to my rover data link now. So I'm going to go ahead and select that second item. And again, I'm going to be using this with a Verizon hotspot, which I've already set up to work with this unit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and change that uh, setting over to internet connection and then I'm going to go ahead and change this over to my default contact which is my SmartNet Arizona contact and I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Um, I do like uh, for my personal preference to be prompted for the various contacts because sometimes I'm connecting to different sources uh, depending on my uh, geography. So I'm going to go ahead and check on that box that says prompt for GNSS contact. That's just a matter of personal preference. And I'm going to go ahead and hit accept on that. I'm not going to really worry too much about the base options and the base data link. That's all being taken care of by SmartNet. And there's a few other settings that I could work with with site calibration and stuff, but we'll save that for a different video. And for right now I'm just going to go ahead and hit store. That should at least get me in there. And uh, so I've now got that selected. So I now have that survey style added to my list of survey styles and that'll make it easy for me when I begin my job. So uh, that concludes this video. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this, but uh, we'll see you next time.